Welcome back guys to another race and it's round number 13 today for the Belgium Grand Prix. We are back. Apologies. It's been about a week since the last episode. Didn't mean to take that long. Just had other stuff to do. Still wrap up, you know, our My Team career mode on F123, etc. But we are back. I've actually been itching to come back because we've actually been on a roll as of late, getting some good results. We're eight points off Alpine. Uh, I, th I think we could do we could even do that in this episode really uh, I catch them and get up to p5 due to recent expended what? McLaren is now financially in debt. Please find our finance data touch but the board will continue to lose confidence in you as long as the team is in debt. So I would suggest that we avoid committing to any further spending until this is resolved. As a reminder, we receive weekly and monthly income, so please do keep an eye on our finances over the next few weeks. It may be also prudent to offer our sponsors performance guarantees before races, assuming we can meet the guarantee. This would get Get us out of the debt sooner. How, how are we in debt? Three, we're, we've got 3.5 million in the bank. How are we in debt? Ha, season balance. Breakdown. Uh, oh. Oh. So we brought in. A hunt, I don't know. Uh, who's been, who's been doing the books this season? Because we're, we've brought in 139 million. We've spent 152 million. And so our balance is minus 13, even though the balance here is 3. Something tells me our accountant has really messed up. What is going on? What? What? Huh? Cost cap. I'm under the cost cap. I've got remaining 52 million um, for the cost cap. I, I'm completely fine, isn't it? Because cost... Yeah, I've got remaining... It says over there, 52 million. We've, we've, we've spent 86 million this year. Where, where, where are they getting 152? Where are they getting that? And where, where, this maths does not add up because where, where, we got 3 million right here. What's going on? This is unbelievable. Okay, so what? I have to make 13 million to get out of this debt, which I, I don't see where it is in terms of this number here. What does that mean then? I'm legitimately confused. So let me know in the comments below. What does that even mean then, this 3 million here, if our balance is minus 13? Like, I, I don't understand what where the... Th I don't actually understand where this 3 million is because surely the 3 million should pop up somewhere in this breakdown sheet. Surely. Like, it sh we should end up with 3 million, not minus... And if we are a minus 13, that should be over there, minus 13. This is ridiculous. Right, what a way to come back to the series then. We are, we are uh, officially in debt. Great stuff. Uh, the board confidence. What are they saying? They're very happy right now. They're very happy right now. But apparently that's going to go down now um, because we are in debt. Lovely. Lovely. Well, you know what? I'd rather be in debt and doing well in the championship than uh, not pushing the boundaries. They've got to set up a 54% each. Driver confidence 61 to 58. And it's a sprint weekend. So that is the starting confidence for the entire race weekend because we're now going going in towards uh, qualifying, is it not then? Uh, for the sprint race. Adjusting their setup just a little bit, so hopefully this will be a, a good direction for them. This is basically our, our last shot to actually adjust the setup for the entire race weekend. Um, as we go into quali, let's go ahead and manage it, and hopefully... We can have a good one. I feel, I, I, you know, Belgium was it was a tough old race for McLaren in real life, but here in the game, we've been going from strength to strength. So let's see. I'm going to send them out. I watched a um, little clip thing about doing two flying laps, no cooldowns. Let's see how that works for the right. It's a long old lap spa. Very, very. It's, it's actually huge. As they're now starting their flying lap. Lando's got some clean air. I think Piastri has a Ferrari ahead of him, but I don't think he should catch that Ferrari. So might give him a little little toe even. So let's see how this goes then. The two flying laps in a row. I think we're both safe, to be honest. Eight tenths off. A lot of people are at 1.6 off, so the golf is actually getting quite large to some of these midfield teams here. Mercedes are slipping back a little, and um, yeah, Lando's lap time is actually looking better and better as we go through this session. I think we're completely safe. What's happened to Verstappen, though? Hang on a minute. Verstappen, this needs to be a very good lap for him. Perez is up in P4, so 
The car's fine, but uh, Verstappen's leaving it very, very late. It's not the, for the first time he's left it late in quali to try and get the lap in. He's down to 18th place. This has to be a good lap for Verstappen to get through. Our current championship leader, but like I said, Ferrari have been going from strength to strength. Alonso's up there in P2 showing. Aston have been getting better as well recently. Verstappen, okay, there you go. That's a bit more like it, but it's only P7. It's only P7. You know, he's definitely going to have to work to try and keep that lead in the championship of his. Because unlike in real life, Ferrari and Aston are really getting quite hot lately. And Sainz and uh, Russell, I can see, have penalties. So, unfortunately for Sainz, that kind of means Leclerc is going to be de facto the one really gaining ground on Verstappen maybe in the championship if he continues to perform like this. Uh, but that will help us out. Sainz are two people in the top ten with penalties. That will definitely help us out. So, this could be a very good qualifying slot. Oh, Heavy, look at that, heavy rain for the sprint and then normal race. That sprint could be quite juicy for us, especially with Lando's performance in the wet. But okay, that's all right. 70 to 74%, I can live with that. For a sprint for a sprint weekend, I think that's not too bad. Okay, not such a great first lap in Q2. Lando got so much traffic, so much traffic. So we're going to need another lap. Oh, I don't want to use a new set of tyres in case we maybe need them. Uh, I'm going to stay on this set of tyres. Run plan. I want to do two flying laps. They both did only one that time, even though I definitely set them on two. Piastri might be safe because he got a clean run in. So, I don't know. Let's see. As we go on through, I think I'm going to send... Is there space? space? There's going to be a bit of space in a minute. Send out. Oh, I've just got him behind Hamilton. But hopefully that's not going to be too much of a bother. And then I should probably send out Piastri just in case. Let's send him out now as well. For two flyers. Right, Lando has to get the, the move on here with these laps because he's miles off the pace he must have got some ridiculous traffic on the first run and he's got Hamilton ahead of him but I think that's the only car ahead of him that he's gonna have to worry about and Hamilton should be quicker than us or at least matching us so I don't think we should be catching him really is there anyone coming out of the pits there is a Aston that's going slow that's unfortunate I really hope he can put in this lap time I really want both of them in the top 10, especially with Sainz and Russell with penalties. They're one and two right now, so they'll be out of the top, you know, if they get through into the top 10, that's just two free positions. As Alonso gets out of the way for us, that's good. Hamilton actually got held up way more than Lando did. We've actually gained a great toe on Lewis there. So, oh, purple first sector. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. He's had a long range toe on Hamilton this entire time as they come through to the end of the lap. Not really been held up by him either because we've got a green second sector. So hopefully this will shoot us all the way up into the top 10 comfortably. Cross the line and there we go. That's a bit more like it. Very actually bang on matches Piastri there. 0 0.6 off sights. Good stuff. I think we're calm. I think we're actually safe maybe because Hamilton's the one struggling. Stroll as well to get into the top 10. Now this car's working well around Belgium. Very much so. Hopefully not like in real life where it worked well in quali because it was quali and in the race it was too draggy. We've done a lot of work to get the drag out this car with that, that new re rear wing we actually had to make a spare of. That was a low drag rear wing. Um, so hopefully it's going gonna, it's gonna to help us. Oh, we're calm. Hamilton locked up. I think he's out. Hamilton's going to be out of quali in Q2 because he locked up. These two are through but they've got penalties. So that's it's basically a top eight. Basically, in 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 Q3, because we know they're going to be down the order, depending on, you know, if they have a five-place penalty, maybe they're still there. But if they have more, then that's great for us. But at the moment, we're actually looking very quick. Not It's it's hard to tell, though, because Leclerc's now P7, whereas he was P1 in Q1. So let's see how it goes, where it really matters. The right, Both of them got a lot of clean air here for their first flying lap. Hopefully their second flying lap as well, as we've gone for consecutive... Uh, what runs, although there's a bit of traffic there for them both to overtake, but they're still up. Well, at least Lando is. Two greens. Confidence is building for him as well. What's that confidence saying? Uh, it did go up. I can't see what it is right now, but it did go up. Piastri also improved in the second sector, but Lando coming through the final corner at the moment. P5 and 8. Lando, this needed to be a better lap, because actually that's not a great first lap for him. Uh, does improve. Matches Piastri there. Piastri is going to go a little bit quicker, I think. Five and six. Wouldn't be too bad. We're ahead of the Red Bulls right now, who are not looking too hot at the moment around Spa. And like I said, Ferrari and Aston looking very, very hot. Science on provisional pole. He'll have a penalty, though. So that will elevate Alonso to pole. 
Okay. And then we can go quicker though. Away. One run. One last run. Yep. Right, I got Lando in a bit of clean air. Stroll's just overtaken him though on a flyer. So that's a bit unfortunate, but he should be bolting away. So we've got clean air there. And Piastri there is right at the back of the train with the freeze. Hopefully he gets to the end of the lap in time. I really hope... Oh God, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Piastri, please, please cross the line in time. Please cross the line in time. Oh my God. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Oh, I think we just crossed the line in time. I think we did. I think De, <laughs> De Vries behind us didn't cross the line in time. You loser. Yes. <laughs> Piastri crossed it in time. Please now make the most of it, my man. I mean, he's quicker than Lando at the moment. B5. Come on, sir. But Lando, a lot of clean air. This is good. Come on. Let's get a good quality in. I mean, this is already great. We'd be P4 and 5 if it stayed like this with Sainz's penalty. The two Red Bulls not looking too great around here for some reason. For I mean, I say for some reason, as of late, last few races, like I said, a lot of Aston have looked so rapid and Ferrari obviously have been there anyway uh, with how dominant they were looking at in Hungary with that 1-2 it was, it was it was for a lot of the race. But Russell comes in quicker than us. Ah, oh, okay. That's uh, not great, but let's see what Lando can do here to pump himself up the order. Verstappen's finished in P8, so that's very surprising for him. Lando gets up to P5. It's an improvement to get himself ahead of Oscar and Russell, but what can Oscar himself do? He's still on the flyer. It's a yellow first sector, though. That's not great. Let's speed up and go right to the end. Sainz will be on. Well, it's not going to be pole position. It'll be Alonso on pole position with Sainz's penalty as Oscar comes to the line, and it is not an improvement for him. We will finish in P5 and 6, but that will be 4 and 5 on the road to start the sprint. Because Alonso, because uh, science has a penalty, Alonso will be on pole for the sprint race. But it is a sprint, so we have to actually do well in the sprint to set the grid for the full Sunday Grand Prix. But it's going to be a wet one, so I think we could do quite well. Lando could do quite well, but... Yeah, no, good performance there. But we beat both Red Bulls, who, who really did not look that great around there. So that's, that's fantastic. Right, what are we saying with uh, the strategy here? Let's look. Oh, okay. There is rain in this sprint. Heavy rain, actually. But it's not going to come till later. So if we put on... Uh, we want to get to, uh, what, lap 10? So, so softs. Yeah, softs will be fine then. And then we, I, I'm thinking we go straight to full wets. I think some will choose inters. Let's go straight to full wets. Um, and that will be the motive. I think I think these AI are going to go to Inters. Let's go. Alonso angle this car towards the Ferrari as we get underway. And oh, hang on a minute. Oh, Sainz is on. Oh, okay. The penalty. Okay. The penalty applied for Sunday's race. That's a bit odd. Makes sense, actually, because that's how it is in F123. So actually ignore me then on what we just said before. So we're starting P5 and 6. But look at, uh, is that uh, Lando going around the outside for P4? Yes, it is. Look at him go. He's overtaking Leclerc as they go towards Ur Rouge. He's ahead. Yeah, he's P4. Piastri P6. Go on. Go on, son. Get that Ferrari. Let's go. Come on. Attack, attack. Let's go aggressive, mate. Let's go aggressive. Get that. Get that Ferrari, mate. So Sainz leads the way. Alonso, Stroll, ourselves with P4 and 6. Want to get Piastri past this Ferrari. I think we can, you know. Leclerc's not looking too great. And there's Piastri pulling out maybe for a move. No, not quite. Not quite. Right, I'm just going to go a little bit calmer on Piastri with the tire, with the tire pushing because I know he's not as good as Lando on his tires. So I'll go to normal right now. And we've got DRS enabled on lap 2. So, going to go for deploy here. Battle assist. I want to try and get him past here. Let's go battle assist with Lando as well. Just to uh, help me out while some focus on Oscar here. But Lando could get Stroll here, you know, as well, to be fair. Go for it, mate. Go for it if you can. Is that rear wing pop popping open? Yes, it is. He's gaining. He's gaining. Stroll's not got DRS either on anyone. And meanwhile, for Piastri, he's not as close to Leclerc as I wanted him to. As there goes Lando Norris for the move on the outside. Ah. Oh. Just not enough there. Just not enough. Allowing the top two to get away. Come on. Oh! Massive lockup. Massive. Oh, he's in the wall. He's in the wall. <laughs> that happened right in front of our eyes. Live in front of our eyes. I'm so glad I cut onto that camera in time. Unbelievable stuff. Huge error for Lance Stroll. He's not in the wall, but it's a bad, bad lockup. And that gets... 
Lando up into a top three. Piastri P5. Yellow flags. Don't think there'll be anything though because there was no crash. Right, Piastri. He's been caught by... Uh, He's been caught by Russell rather than attacking Leclerc, unfortunately. Just doesn't have as much pace as Lando. That's the 10 rating difference, I guess, between our two drivers. But can he just please defend against Russell as behind the two Red Bulls are fighting and Piastri will stay ahead of George. I think I might um, go for a little bit of deploy just to try and push away a little bit. Uh, he got overtaken. He got overtaken. He got overtaken. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. It's fine, though. What's Lando saying, though? He's got, oh, he's got the fry. Okay, we are losing a bit of pace in this race now. The race pace is not as good as I was hoping after the opening laps. That's fine, though. Still work in progress here with McLaren, but doing what I'm, I would be happy with P3 and 6 if we could hold this. Oh, v, VSC. Oh, VSC, VSC, VSC. Oh, what happened? Oh, oh, no. 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 You've got to be joking me. Red flag. Oh, he's out. He's out. I thought he had just broken his wing and he was going to spit himself. Oh, bloody hell. Bloody hell. What's There's happened here? He was attacked. Yeah, I mean, he was going for a move. Oh. Maybe my fault. I put I put him and Lando on, aggre on aggression. So far this season, it's paid dividends, but that was a bit too aggressive from Oscar there. Oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. And now we can't make the most of the rain because it's it's heavy rain on the restart. Bloody hell. Piastri's retired, Lando's third, but um, now we can't make the most of the restart. Uh, I'm going to go for the wet tyres because we're on lap. What, what are we on? Where, where, can I look at the, uh, no, no. Um, uh, I don't know. Lap sit, no, yeah, it's going to start raining. It's going to start raining. Let's go full wets. Full wet. Oh, no. What did they got? Oh, my. Oh, wait. I clicked full wet. What happened here? They're, they're on softs. Oh, oh. Okay. The rain's coming. Oh, here we go. Okay, good. Thank God. I, I, I knew it said heavy rain on restart. Right. Another five red lights. P3. And I was bloody not on attack as we got underway. Come on. Come on. Lando, you're amazing in these conditions. Let's get let's get something oh alonso's gone for a move on science leclerc having a go at us but lando pulls away good stuff it is very very wet out of there my god can we get any of these two i think we can you know lando's just sick in these conditions come on mate come on they're fighting they're having a great scrap and we're there ready Ready and waiting. It is very, very wet out there. Can hardly see the cars as we go back on the onboard. Track conditions have changed to damp, apparently. It's not as wet as it was. Is that what they're saying? As we've, uh, as Science and Alonso have pulled away from us a little bit. We haven't really done too. It's been kind of stalemate in this race so far. I would have loved that transition. We would have nailed them. We would have gone to full wets. They would have gone into, I think, and we would have nailed them. Instead, we're stuck in this situation. Oh, Verstappen's ran. Oh, Verstappen's ran wide. He's made an error in the wets. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? He's gone wide and he's lost some time there. Yellow flags, but nothing else, I don't think, is... Uh... Oh, no, it is VSC. Oh, it was VSC. VSC's out. VSC. Okay, uh, I'm going to burn some fuel under this VSC because, to be honest, we have too much. We have too much fuel. Oh, there's multiple cars crashing. Oh, okay, that's why there's a VSC. It's Gasly and uh, Sonoda, I think that is. Sonoda. Oh, no, it's free. Is it DeFries? I don't know. No, it's 20. Well, yeah, 21's DeFries, isn't it? He's crashed with DeFries. And Gasly's a very angry Frenchman. Right, virtual safety car has ended and it's go, go, go. Even under virtual safety car, we've still gained some fuel here. I haven't cooled down my tyres. They're over 100 Celsius. I think that's because it's technically into weather now, but we're just going for it. We're, we're going to burn the tyre. We're going to burn the rubber and we're going to look to try and maybe make a pass on science. Go on. Go on, mate. Aggression. Aggression. Hi. Make this move. Make this move. Oh, he's gone for it. Come on. Come on. You can do this, Lando. You can do this. Oh, good overtake. Come on. Keep it on the inside. Up to P2 in this sprint. It'll be the front row for tomorrow's race. That is sick. Keep going, mate, though. Keep going. Oh, we're gaining. We're gaining. I know they're very, very hot, mate. I know they're very, very hot, but we're pushing on. Oh, multiple car crash on the last lap. 
What's happened? Albon and Hamilton. Oh, no. Hamilton and Albon. <laughs> Classic duo. Oh, this time it's Albon's turn to crash into Hamilton and wreck his race. Front wing damage for Lewis. Albon carries on. Drama on the last lap. As we're looking to try and keep up with Fernando, but uh, it's proving difficult. Science has fallen away from us. Very, very nice stuff, but um, we just can't close up enough to Alonso. Alonso is going to win this sprint. If there was maybe one more lap in this, I think we could have actually caught up to Fernando. But instead, it's going to be the P2. And it's going to be Fernando Alonso winning this sprint race for Aston Martin. He'll be on pole properly for the full Grand Prix. We're on the front row, though. And we've got last place. So, swings and roundabouts. But that's a good race from Lando. Unfortunate from Oscar. Right, race day. Proper race day. Uh, car parts. Oh, dear. We had the new chassis, but we didn't spend money on making it because we're in debt right now. Um, we're going to have to go to an old chassis, aren't we? Or can we make an emergency one? We're in debt, but we're going to go more in debt, I say. 2.2 million. Have that. Have that. Adjustments limited. What? Why can't I install this on? I can't install it on that car, can I? Wait, hang on. Oh, I have to... Oh, I have to make an emer... <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! I just spent 2.2 million on a chassis I can't install! I have to make this one. <laughs> I'm making that one as well. Oh, no! Oh, if we weren't in debt already, we're so in debt now. Oh, it's screw it. It's the McLaren return to bankruptcy career mode. I don't know. Um, right. Uh, I'm going to have to make an emergency of this one as well. I have to. I literally can't enter the Grand Prix. Otherwise, I've just spent about six million getting us more in debt when the email said spend less. Oh, screw it. Oh, I'm, just having, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just having a good time. with it. I'm having a lot more fun with this game than I was last year. Like, this, this game's a bit more funny in terms of these things happening to me. Um, right, okay, screw it. Uh, Strategy-wise, what are we saying? What's the graph? No rain. That's not great. That's not good news for me. But we'll, we'll go on the softs, I think. Um, and then we'll go to, I think, a set of hard ties. I'm thinking hards going long. On a set of hards. I think that's going to be the best strategy for us today. We've got 44 laps ahead of us here in Spa as we get ready for the Belgian Grand Prix. Now I wonder, will things be going Lando Norris's way in this race? A second place start for them today. They'll be aiming for a podium, but could they even sneak the win? This should certainly be a good one, folks. You can hear the excitement in the crowd here at the Belgian Grand Prix. And it's lights out. Lights out and away we go. Come on, Lando. Can you get P1 off the start on the inside of Alonso? No, he's not. And even Leclerc's attacked him. But I feel good about this so far. We've had a podium. We've had a podium. We've had some good top four finishes. But we have not had a win yet. But could we get one today? Oh, that Ferrari looks quick in this uh, on the heavy fuel spec. I'm not going to lie. What's Piastri done? P19? He needs to make some... You need to, I know aggression got you into this problem, but you need to be very aggressive today, mate. You need to make the most of this first in. Good. Piastri's already overtaken Gasly, maybe, potentially. Safety car. Oh, early safety car. Early safety car. Lando's still in P2, by the way. Piastri's jumped up to P17. He's made a couple of overtakes in the opening laps, which is good. But we've got a multiple car crash. Hopefully not involving Piastri. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's behind. He's behind. Please don't say you were involved. Please say... Oh, thank God. Oh, lovely. Well, that explains the two positions he got then. So, safety car's out. Um, I think we could pick Piastri under the safety car to go on to hard straight away. Maybe. Or is it too early? Maybe it's a bit too early in the whole race. Yeah, maybe it's too early in the whole race. Nah, let's just let's just save let's just save it. Let's just save it. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, Alonso did pit. Oh my god, Alonso pit for mediums. Alonso did what I was thinking about doing, but didn't have the balls to do it. But he's done it, and he's come out in P nine on fresh mediums. He's not going to the end, surely. So he's just looking to be very over aggressive, I guess, on that tire. 
to catch back up to P1. But we're leading. We're leading the race now. Come on. Come on. This is good omen. Good omen. We're leading the race. We're leading the race. We can do this. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing a bit of kumbaya. Come on. We can, we can do this. Please, believe, believe. I'm not even religious, but come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Right, safety car's in. Safety car is in on this lap. Right, Lando's bolting. We go deploy. We go deploy. We go deploy. Let's go. Let's go. Restart. He's got away from Leclerc a decent amount. Not as much as I wanted to, but both of us have actually got away from the, the Red Bull more so. so. Alonso's already maybe making a move. Maybe into turn one. Oh, big dive from Alonso. P8. He, I, I can just tell he's going to be rapid in this stint. He's going to be looking to basically carve his way through back to P1. I think that's the, 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 the motive for Fernando Alonso here. For us, we're just trying to push away from the Ferrari as much as we can. Piastri just needs to keep his head down and try and make some moves and recover just like he did in Hungary. He did well to recover in Hungary, to be honest. So just got to keep on doing more of that. That Ferrari score. Oh, Ferrari fastest lap of the Grand Prix. Leclerc's quick. Leclerc's quick. He's a bit too quick maybe for us. As I've deployed all the way and he's kept up with us. We've pulled away three seconds to Red Bull, which is amazing. But Leclerc's rapid. I told you. Ferrari are good in this career save ours. Let's, let's go back this now in neutral because I've spent maybe a bit too much of the battery at the moment. Oh, tyres are overheating a little bit now as well. The oh, Leclerc's got yeah, DRS. Okay. I mean, I love the gap we pulled on Red Bull. That's really great. That's showing how, you know, we, 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 we have pulled away. Leclerc's just pulled away with us. And now DRS enabled. We've seen this view a lot. Lando's rear wing and oh, look how quick he is. Look how quick he is. He's coming through. It's the move on the, over the top of the crest. Jesus. Lando defends, but the Ferrari is coming through with DRS. I think it's a bit futile. There he goes. Oh, just can't do it. Just can't keep it. Yeah, I know, mate. I know. I know. It's frustrating. Let's just keep on doing what we're doing. Yeah. Meanwhile, Piastri going to go deploy. Push on a bit more. Push these tyres. Wreck them and then go on to hards. Right. If that Ferrari's pulling away, let's just calm things down on the temperatures. Calm things down on the temps. And uh, just try and... Just hold the pace. Hold the pace, Lando. All right, Pia Oh, Piastri just made three overtakes in a row. Lovely stuff. He's got Gasly there. He just got Sonoda one road up. He got Joe previously. Piastri's flying. Pushing. Oh, he's just got De Vries as well. That's actually unreal. He's just made four overtakes in like two laps or one Let's lap pretty much. Great stuff, Piat. This is it. I lit it's exactly what I wanted him to do. Just bang in lap times. Just bang him in and then we'll come on to hards. Optimal. No, let's keep going. Let's keep going. He's, he's quick. He's quick. Oh, he got overtaken. Oh, he got overtaken. Okay, maybe now is the time to come in. Maybe, yeah, okay, let's come in. Hard tyres, yeah, hard tyres. Right, Piastri's in, Lando's in P2. We've got a good gap to Red Bull. Leclerc's just too quick for us, I think. I think we've got to admit we're still not there to be a race winner with McLaren this season. So let's just calm things down and let's lock it down for a podium. Okay, because remember how excited I was for that Canada podium. The P2 would be incredible for us. Like, it would still be unbelievable. And we've just got to think with our head. Let's calm things down. Stretch this stint to get to that medium tyre. We've got seven seconds on Verstappen to do that. As they're busy fighting the Aston. So let's just keep it calm. Keep it steady. Right, we've entered our pit window for Lando. Piastri's done well. He's overtaken Joe, at least. Um, and he just... He just needs to keep this steady sort of pace. You know, just steady. Nice and calm. Keep it cool, calm, collected. For Lando... Still got 6.6 .6 on the Verstappen. All right, we've reeled in about two seconds by pushing this tyre. And we've uh, gained 8.7 to the Verstappen. So I think coming in on this next lap, I think it's going to be ideal for us, I think. I mean, we're still gaining. We're still gaining on Leclerc. Do we... Ooh, we're in a very good fast position now. Do I call him in now? Is Leclerc coming in? No, Leclerc, Leclerc's not coming in. Can we get a bit of an undercut on him, maybe? Um... We're a bit early. We're one lap early. Uh, I want to push on the exit. 
Uh, let's go. Oh, God, we need to top up here. Please, no issue on the pit stop. I beg, I beg, I beg, McLaren. Don't you dare have an issue here. Good. Okay, that's all right. 2.4, 2.4. That's all right. That's all right. We're close to pet. Oh, has Checo just undercut us? Is that Checo undercutting us? Or well, no, that was how far Checo was behind us, was it? I don't know. Either way, either way, we need to get this overtake. All right. High aggression. Let's go. Okay, we got Perez there. That's good. We're in clean air. Oh, no. What just happened to Piastri there? What just happened there? Oh, the gearbox a bit worn. Okay, fine. I thought he made, I thought he crashed. I just saw that come up on the on the bottom left. Yeah, minor gearbox. Right? It's fine. It's fine. Right, let's save some fuel in this part of uh, of this race. And we catch up to these uh, this traffic. Oh, yeah. we've Oh, Verstappen's just down the road here. So, yeah, we're really calm for P2. But Leclerc's pulling away from us because we're stuck in this traffic overtaking Carlos Sainz. Right, I'm going to push the fuel a bit. Try and get Lando past these guys. Try and get him past Verstappen. As Leclerc, 16 seconds ahead. Yet to pit, I don't think. I'm pretty sure he's not pit. Um, what's the stats? Lap uh, tie history. Um, yeah, he's not pit. I mean, oh, Leclerc was on mediums. That's why he's not pit. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Verstappen as well. All of them were on mediums. I actually didn't notice that. I didn't notice that the entire time. That makes a, a little bit more sense. Right, Leclerc's in. And he's... Oh, Leclerc's four seconds down the road. He's on softs now, isn't he, though? Yeah. Have you? Have these guys pit yet? Tire history. All the people ahead of us. Okay, there's a lot of people yet to pit. So I'm hoping Piastri can jump up the order. Let's just push this a bit more, mate. Norris just set the fast after the Grand Prix in clean air. That is great. Is Good happened. stuff. That's. Right, I didn't even push him to... He, he was just on neutral on the tyre pushing. Pushing a bit of fuel, but... Good stuff, mate. Good stuff. Nice overtake just before uh, Rouge. Lovely. Up to P2. Alonso, we know, is probably going to pit again anyway. So let's carry on like this. Stroll takes off our sap of the Grand Prix away from us, but that's fine. That's fine. Right, Alonso's in. Alonso's pit. There you go. That second stop for him. Meanwhile, Piastri, P14. Okay, these guys are now pitting. So are we going to gain on them? Let's go full attack. Okay. Let's see what Piastri can do. Can he get the Haas of Hulkenberg on the inside? Lovely move. And we're up to P11. Okay, good recovery. We, we could get into the points. We could get into the points. He got re-overtaken by Hulkenberg, but still, he could get into the points. Oh, VSC, 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 VSC. What has happened here? What has happened here? Calm this down. Calm that down. VSC for what? Piastri's not involved, thankfully. Norris is looking good. Would have liked a full safety guard, to be honest. That would have been really good. If we get a full safety guard at some point, we could win this race. Because Leclerc's going to have far more worn, soft tyres. As Stroll... Oh, Stroll in third place. Oh, that's big! That's big! Big off for Stroll. He locked up in the sprint as well. So, uh, that's good. That's big for us, then. Big for Ferrari. Signs up to third. Alonso fourth. Uh, Verstappen's down in P6 right now. But yeah, if there's a full safety car, you know, we are in, we're looking good because we've got the same tyre wear as Leclerc on mediums. But we know his, his tyre is going to wear out more. Surely he's going to. Right, sit rep is, we're 3.8 behind Leclerc. His softs are 49%. We've done some good tyre saving to 56% mediums. I'm going full at attack now. I think four laps, just gun it. Just gun it. And we could catch him. We could catch him. That's my game plan for him. Let's see if it works. Piastri, how far is he away from points? He's five seconds away from points. To be honest, with the race he's had, although from the back of the grid, uh, on the hards for this entire race, P11 recovery is actually pretty damn good for him. That's actually really a really decent race. I'm surprised he's actually had good tyre wear to keep this going. The whole race. So fair play to him. Fair play. You know, because that was a that's a long stint from what was what? Lap 14. That's a long stint. So kudos to him for actually managing to do this. 2.4, 2.3, 2.1. We are gaining on Leclerc. What's the tire way saying? 52, 51% to 44. We're on the better race tire. We're on the better race tire. We're cooking now. We're cooking. Oh, until the last lap. We just don't have enough fuel. And I'm putting deploy, but we're just not close enough. Just not close enough. That Ferrari has just a bit too much pace. 1.6, 1.4. Ah, oh, there's one more lap in this race. Maybe. I mean, we weren't ever even in DRS, to be honest. So, can't complain too much. Leclerc is going to win. 
the Belgium Grand Prix. He's going to take a lot of points away from Max Verstappen in the championship. For us, though, P2. We've got to be really happy about that. The fact I'm frustrated about not getting a win here says a lot. P2 for Lando Norris at the Belgium Grand Prix is massive for us. It's another podium. We are building something here. We are building something. Piastri, P11, difficult race for him again. It is what it is. It is what it is. Double Ferrari podium. That's big for them. But uh, P2, very, very good. Come on. Yeah, it is. It is. It is a remarkable drive. It is a remarkable drive. We were ecstatic for our first podium ever at the Canadian GP. We've got to be ecstatic about this. P2. It's a step up. It's that next level. We've got P3. We've got a P2. Next one missing is the P1. It's coming. We're, it's coming. We're on the way there. We're on the way there. Second step of the podium. Get in, mate. Get in. And in the Drivers' Championship, Leclerc gaining 20 points on Verstappen. 1, 2, 3, 4 to 2, 6, 1. He's, he's gaining a bit there. And in the, in the Constructors, Ferrari are leading the Constructors' Championship. We have got ahead of Alpine. We may be in debt. The bailiffs may be on the way, but we're up to P5 in the championship. Come on. Mid-season board review. The target was seventh. We're in fifth. Current progress, two out of six in terms of the uh, score podiums of 25% races of this season. So we've got, we've got two podiums. We just need to get four more. And, uh, and we'd complete the objective this season, in the first season, which is very, very good. And the board confidence is high. They've awarded us 1.5 million. They've awarded us 1.5 million, which might help with the debt. Maybe not after I just spent four or five million over one race weekend, but it might help. And on that note, I'm going to end it there. Guys, if you have enjoyed it, hit the like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you're around here, then do get subscribed for weekly Formula 1 content. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.